sign here and here. Red Dead Redemption 2, My Adventures Part 2, the second half of the game you play as John. Mm -hmm. Now we own you, Mr. Marston, and we own Mr. Milton too, and we own your property. But you can buy your freedom each week. Eventually, you will be a homeowner. I understand. Congratulations, you are now a real American, indebted and owned by the bank. It starts out great. You can finish up some quests Arthur didn't complete, and John's main quest where you try to build a home and life for your family by starting a farm and taking on bounties for cash. There isn't a lot of crime because he is trying to stop all that, but you can still make him rob and kill if you want. You can find people Arthur helped and talk with them. And you can find members of the gang. No ones in Rhodes and St. Denis, I leave the rest for you to find because after the main quest, there's not much to do and I'll explain. Now here's the problem. There's an entire area of the map that for the most part goes unused. It seems like there should be more quest out there, but there's nothing other than a legendary fish you can't catch and a sheriff that give you like three bounties. It's like they scoop out a big portions of John's story. And the only reason I can think of is that they took it from John to give to your online character, which is dumb in my opinion. There's still a lot of things to do, but it's very noticeable that a larger section of the map is empty. I mean, there are animals and people, but nothing to do or interact with. If I'm being completely honest, I felt cheated or tricked into thinking there was so much more. And I ran around looking and trying to talk to anyone, but nothing I was disappointed. However, this game still has one of the greatest stories I've seen in a while, the second half included. I also tried online. Seems pretty empty if you're going solo, and matchmaking takes about 20 to 30 minutes. And when I did finally get a match, the quest itself was short. It took longer to find a match than it did to complete the quest. And to be completely honest, I'm starting to hate online, not the players, but the games themselves, always having to find someone to play with. Which isn't bad. I like team-based games, but when the quests or missions aren't hard or are very short, it seems unnecessary to match with player, to basically watch a cutscene and shoot maybe ten people. A lot of the time I'm in it for the story, but to wait thirty minutes and match with someone to watch a cutscene is dumb. The only part of online that's decent in my opinion is the death matches. But you can't get a lot of the better guns without playing the story, so it's not that good. If you were to ask me if it's worth getting, I'd say, Absolutely. Even if you don't play online, it's worth it. Like, comment, and subscribe.